Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 60. Alright, the previous episode. It was a really shocking episode because the thing that happened in the end was something that came completely out of the blue and like, you know, like usually what happens, like whenever something, you know, happens, like, you know, something bad happens, there's usually something that kind of precedes that event, you know, like there's this kind of an unease. People actually are able to think like, OK, something bad is probably going to happen. And they like, you know, slowly, slowly kind of get warmed up to it. And then the bad thing happens and they are able to like, you know, uh, like, you know, see that, OK, this is what happens. Previous episode was completely different. It was such a good atmosphere. Everything was happening so well, like, you know, everything was working out quite well for like Horo Horo and the bear and in comes these like poachers who shoots them shoots the bear and it was out of the blue and that was really impactful and i don't know what to say like that was like something and uh, Horo Horo like obviously like uh taught them a lesson but like sad thing to, uh, about the whole situation about the whole previous episode was that this is just a few people here there are tons of people like this who does the same thing and like thinking about that that is kind of like um what do you call it bad in a way but that's human nature you know as as i said like oh this is just a hobby like horo horo would be able to forgive them if they were people who were actually hunting for food if they took them like you know because obviously like you need to kill and like you know plants be it plants be it animals for your own sustenance everyone does that even the animals does that you know like killing uh heart, like you know killing other animals carnivores killing other animals uh that's part of the nature but doing this for fun is something like what else can i say like that's what pissed horror horror off and like it kind of was more effective on him because he's an Ainu and Ainus really give a lot of like you know what can I say thought about this they are really uh again they really respect the nature and like all that happens so yeah it's a sad episode uh in the end but Horo Horo like, you know decides to uh become a shaman king his original dream to get the butter bear like you know the thing to restore the nature all that stuff so yeah that was the previous episode so let's see what this episode brings this is episode number 16 of shaman king so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Okay, Horo Horo is here. Ah, oh, there, there you go. Hmm. <laughs> Purify my heart. Okay, how many days has happened? All right. <laughs> okay. We still have another character to meet. So I'm guessing within these few episodes we're going to meet him. I'm wondering when will Faust join us? You know, like we like in the opening we're seeing that Faust is with us, you kind know, of in our team. So I'm guessing somewhere down the line he is really going to join like you know Yo and his comrades.
Okay. Enter the ultra pompadour. <laughs> what? Yeah, character development. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Is he unconscious? Okay, no. <laughs> oh my god. I'm guessing this is a review centered episode. This will be because the Ultra Pompadour or whatever the title was. Oh. Mesa Verde. De. <laughs> wow, oh my god. Yeah, so where are the original natives? Hmm. I'm sure there are natives living here. Keep out. <laughs> What the hell? Who are these? Are these? Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, I remember. Okay, calm down, guys. They thought that they're going to, like, you know, attack them or something. Oh, that's why. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't know. Okay. Oh no. Oh, no one explained this that to him. Anna knows it, but. What? Piss off. What the? Whoa, this guy's a drag a uh, vampire. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> what? Oh no. Come on, his hair. That was just his hair. Bla. Bla muro. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what the hell? <laughs> what? Oh my god, wow, Th these people are fun, very fun. Tamayaji. Oh, great. Oh, he really died. Wow. Okay. Oh, great. Oh, boy. Oh no, blood loss, I'm guessing, or, or or did he inject something in him?
Yeah. Oh god. Well, so he's a modified vampire. Okay. Ah, nice. There you go, Ru. His hair. Yeah, he he's trying to like you know. <laughs> he's trying to increase his hair, but every time it gets. And that as well. Whoa! Oh! What? How the hell does it even work? How did he get his hair back? Wow. Oh, Anna came to her. Okay. Hmm. Damn. Wow, these guys are confident. Great. These guys are narcissists as well. Another punch. There you go. Yeah, that's what he deserves. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Damn! Oh my god, Yuru! Yeah. <laughs> 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 True, true. Theory class. Theory means spirit, I guess. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. Lou, come on. Whoa. It's like Medusa. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh no. Vampire Lord. Hmm. Okay, they're really neutral. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Oh god.
Oh, yeah. What the hell? Oh no, Lyser. Yeah, he, he's been controlled. Okay, you need to defeat this guy. Oh my god, it's regenerating like that. Oh great, it's really a... Uh... <laughs> well, well he, he's all about survival, so... Oh wow, what a great solution. <clears throat> Yo Sama. Oh, this okay, this is not it. The yeah let's see i don't think tokagero ran away let's see what happens you must be what <laughs> Whoa! There you go. I knew it. He did not run away. Ha! <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh. Okay, well, I, I kind of thought, like, I doubt, like, uh, you know, Tokagaru ran away. That was just a trick. Blood as his medium, okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Pillar Prince. Oh. Oh. Oh, so oh, I'm guessing they killed him and wait a minute.
This is silver, isn't it? Oh no, this is a uh, house, house in incarnation, previous incarnation. Uh, Oh boy. Oh no. What the? Oh no. Uh, can't her his can't morphine do anything? Oh. Yeah, like, how will that make... Uh... Oh, great. Okay. Come on. Okay, but there's morphine. What? Okay. <laughs> I don't have enough hair. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Whoa. Damn! But what about Lyser? What's happening to him? Or did he break out of the spell? Was he acting or something? What? Whoa! Can this happen? Whoa, this is possible. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's true. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 
Whoa! Oh, okay, we're ending there. Okay, this will continue in the next episode, so. <laughs> okay. Whoa, I was surprised. So, you can actually convince a spirit to go against, like, you know, his or her master if they don't have, like, you know, proper bonding. Interesting. Damn, this ending song is really amazing. I love this ending song. Okay, that's the end. All right, so that was this episode. Okay, so here we this is kind of a rue centric episode as uh vlad here he was as Ryu explained that he was kind of similar to him uh but he chose the path of destruction of like you know revenge and like that's the main difference between them so this is basically a rue centric episode and <laughs> one thing i am really like you know i love the fact that ryu actually does not even get angry that people are cutting off his hair so much like <laughs> if if it i think if it was some like you know if, if it was someone else like you know each and every time like they cut off his hair like they would have been pissed they would have been like what the hell like what have you got like you know what type of <laughs> grudge you have against my hair like attack me but why the hell are you attacking my hair and <laughs> i love the fact that ryu doesn't even like you know say anything about it and uh he's just like normal with all that but uh in this episode obviously we see that he has his trusty comb and he uses that comb to actually <laughs> just settle his hair and he again gets this perfect pompadour which I'm not sure how many episodes it will last. It'll probably again get chopped off in a few episodes, three or four episodes. But oh well, as long as it lasts. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, so yeah, this episode. Uh, <clears throat> here we uh, get to the patch village, but it looks like the patch village. This patch village is not the actual patch village. This is like a outer area of the patch village which is like a tourist destination and the actual patch village is somewhere inside they need to go a little bit more so um yeah and that's why like you know it was written that keep out i'm guessing that keep out thing was written there just to keep the tourist away you know like like tourists might come snooping in so for that i'm guessing that keep out sign was there and um, yeah all right and then we meet these few new characters who we saw in the pre no uh, two or one or two or three episodes ago uh where how was introduced these new these characters they were house minions and the, the most surprising thing was like you know when <laughs> They were just joking like, oh, like you don't look like a vampire. This guy looks more like a vampire, you know, he was just joking. And Vlad kind of says that, oh, like, is that so? Then I'll kill him so that we don't, you know, uh, overlap. And I thought that was like a little, like, you know, joke that they were playing. Like Vlad comes and suddenly kills him. I was thinking like, oh, maybe like that guy is probably going to like, you know, use some technique and was going to come back or somehow because i really was not expecting him to actually die so easily 
and then she he completely disintegrates and vanishes and i was like oh like okay i guess like i i, I heard that he would somehow was going to use some kind of special technique and somehow regenerate or something like that was going to happen turns out he really was weak and they were like you know the other minions were like yeah you're weak you don't deserve to be here so that was basically it and uh, <clears throat> okay we have a few characters here the characters this is this guy with a tattoo in his belly you know, wearing uh, some little glasses i can't remember who this guy reminds me of but he reminds me of someone you know this 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 uh, this style character design you know small little glasses and the uh, beard and long eyebrows i can't remember but i feel like i've seen a character like this before anyways i can't remember uh him and then this this another guy who's like covering his face we don't know how he looks like and this is another person wearing like some helmet and stuff a huge huge guy and vlad and there was this another guy who looked like a, a vampire you know black haired that guy and Vlad killed him so i guess that's that and, all right and then uh, the first thing that happens is lyser gets attacked and they take him as a hostage uh, but rue comes in punches uh you know punches uh vlad and the fight starts okay so now <clears throat> one thing i noticed here is tokagero tokagero's transformation he changed a lot uh like and he kind of looks like medusa in a way you know like those snake hair and uh, he's supposed to be a lizard so I, i'm not like i don't know like so i'm guessing he unlocked this power while he was training as you said that he was training in uh you know, his grandfather trained him so i'm guessing he kind of unlocked his power in that in that time during that time and he like you know his uh tokagoro kind of transformed into this and it looks really cool i have to say like i was not expecting tokagoro to become like that you know like it's kind of uh like, you know medusa type of an entity with uh snake hairs and when like you know in the end when we see that he kind of shows his more of his powers those snakes kind of like transformed into dragons like those that was cool but yeah anyways okay so that and uh, then we see like anna and all of them kind of coming in a helicopter manta manta's helicopter and all right and then we start the battle so again like we see how goldfa is like you know looking at everything and i think like someone someone mentioned it in the comments like i i was really su surprised at the fact that you know like how like the same concern that these people had that how is a monster he after he becomes a shaman king he is going to completely annihilate everyone so like you know i had this question that so why are these people allowing it and someone answered my question and i think like uh it, it really like after seeing this episode i can actually understand that yeah that's the case that it's basically that they are completely neutral in every sense you know they they are just a neutral like you know even if the world gets destroyed they are neutral and like you know their job is to like conduct this shaman tournament you know and find the person who's actually worthy of getting the uh, like you know becoming the shaman king it does not matter if he's a murderer or like you know he's morally wrong or anything or he if he's a saint it doesn't matter who will, the person who will be worthy be it evil or be it a good person you know he or she will become the shaman king that's basically it and like that's what they want and that's like golfa's main uh, you know uh, like you know duty i'm guessing to choose the correct uh, like you know the strongest person in every sense to become the shaman king so it's basically like like you know like you you won't get any help yo if he wants to become the shaman king he will have to defeat uh, what's his name how you will have to defeat how with his own power and his friend's power 
you know like together as a team or as an individual they'll have to defeat how none of the other pers people for example gold va b it's silver they will not help at all they'll be like you know they'll be at the sidelines they they won't interfere at anything and now after the shaman fight ends i'm guessing whoever will be worthy of it will become the shaman king and i don't know after that what they will do like i wonder like obviously i i i i'm sure like this is this is called shaman king and this the manga has ended so i'm get i think most probably by the end of it yo becomes a shaman king you know like so like i like now i wonder like if somehow um if how become the shaman king so what would they actually do after the tournament ends like after the tournament ends they are not bound by any duty will will go like you know will Sil uh, silva and golfa like you know fight how in that uh, you know uh, after uh, the tournament ends or something like if somehow how becomes the shaman king i'm not sure this is just like a hypothetical situation that i'm thinking about but yeah like i don't know anyways so yeah that okay i went to a completely different topic Okay, and then we see uh, like you know the other uh, characters, the other minions going inside, uh, and they say that even if Vlad loses, you'll have to fight us. So like you know they're like, yeah, I, I doubt you're going to win. Uh, like you're fighting all of us here. And uh, yeah, okay, and then uh, Vlad actually tells them the story of like, you know his uh, ancestors and himself and he, he's been alive for quite a long while because as we see uh, i think they said 600 years or something uh, as he's as we see that the how the previous incarnation uh, like, you know, incarnation of how came and actually offered him power and from that moment he has become like you know the vampire and he's still been living so he's like you know he has a lot of experience a lot of strength and one thing I noticed, you know, I did, I, I did not notice it while reacting to it. Uh, when Hao comes in, like, you know, he has the little thing with him. I'm guessing that's the fire, great fire spirit that they were talking about. Uh, he was talking about, you know, like he said that I, like, in, like you know, I, I reincarnated that era to get that. I think that's that, isn't it? Like, it's like a small little baby. So <laughs> I'm guessing he kind of, like, you know, brought it up and it become this big now. <laughs> Anyways, hmm. okay, and <clears throat> then the fight, like you know, starts ag again. We get to the like, fight, and uh, all right. The main problem here was it's not that they were not s strong; they were strong, like, you know, uh, and they would have easily been able to defeat. Um, Vlad, but the thing that was actually making them hesitate is Lyser because he was kind of a hostage. So none of them were able to do anything. So after like you know resolving that issue, after talking with the spirit, I can't remember his name, the vampire hunter spirit. You know, after convincing it, they were able to use their full power and like you know like fight um, Vlad properly. And like you know like the hostage situation got. Uh, cleared off so now they can properly fight like obviously they'll be easily be able to defeat him there are like four of them like you know sh four 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 isn't it uh, uh yo lyseric ryu and horo horo oh no five and um when five there are five shamans here and like you know whatever the hell he is uh, i'm talking about vlad however strong he is I doubt he will be able to stop five shamans and so yeah i guess that's it for him he he, he basically had the advantage because he uh, took lyserga hostage now that he's not and he's going to get defeated and and obviously like his spirit is also not going to work uh, with him he's, uh, she's, he's against him he has been convinced and uh, yeah now this really came as a surprise to me so uh, this means that if there is like not enough bond between the spirit and the shaman things like this might happen like you know like if somehow someone convinces a shaman uh, like you know a spirit 
to actually work against the his or her master this might happen that means like obviously he like you know the the the, uh, the spirit here the vampire hunter he has been treated like oppressed by vlad all this time so like you know like i'm guessing like after talking with him and convincing him like that like you know the the oppression that he was has been uh going through for so long that made him made it easy for him to actually break out of the whole like you know like him that made him actually convinced him to go against his master because you know like he also did not like the way he uh, vlad treated him so that helped him to do that and that helped him helped them to convince him convince the vampire hunter so like so that means like yeah you, you need to keep a good relationship with the spirit otherwise like stuff like this might happen and like you know they might rebel against you like interesting like i never thought that they would be able to actually kind of it's kind of like a rebel isn't it like rebellion like they would be able to rebel against the master like technically uh no um okay yeah 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 like I, I was kind of thinking that yeah like like no the spirits are actually uh, under the shaman like the shamans are the master but technically not that's not it they're kind of partners like all right so yeah that kind of makes sense in a, a way because you know if, if the shaman was really the master of the spirit i doubt they would be able to like you know do stuff like this like the way the vampire hunter did in this episode so like you know like <clears throat> Excuse me, because they're kind of like in the similar position, uh, like you know, the spirit and the shaman. He was able to go against him, and uh, I don't know. Like this is just my guess. So that was a really surprising portion where, he, you know, the vampire hunter actually decided to go against uh, Vlad, and uh, yeah, that was it. Nothing much happened in this episode. This was basically a little bit of a backstory of Vlad. And we also see how Ryu kind of changed, you know, his strength and everything. And his conviction, as he said, like, you know, like, I want my best place. You know, like, and, uh, like, he kind of tried to convince Vlad and said that you kind of smell like me. You know, like, lonely, all alone. You know, and having no place to call their home. That type of a person. <clears throat> But uh, Vlad, Vlad was too far gone, and uh, it did not work. So yeah, obviously Ryu is the kind of like the MVP in this episode, as he, uh, I'm guessing he, I think he convinced uh, the vampire hunter, didn't he? Yeah, I think so. Most probably, and. Uh, yeah. Oh, that, another portion that was really uh, like, <laughs> like when I like when we saw Tokagoro actually running away. Like there was a part of me which was actually saying that he must be you know acting or something. He must be like playing an uh, like you know putting up an act to actually caught him catch him off guard or catch Vlad off guard. But there's also this part of me that was saying that maybe he really did run away because you know like how we saw that he is kind of like a survivalist. He always tries to survive and. So I thought like this is also part of me saying that, but by the end of it, we actually realized that hey, yeah, he he really did not run away. He just was uh, like you know trying to trick Vlad and tricked him as well. Like he kind of you know, tasted the uh, cape and was able to actually uh, decipher what the, his uh, Vlad's actual power was. You know, like uh, using blood and kind of you know vaporizing and then kind of coming back again, manipulating blood. So yeah. Okay. Is there something else? No. All right, that was it, guys. That was this episode. So yeah, it kind of uh, ended in an abrupt way, kind of like in a very weird position. So I'm guessing we're going to continue from that position from the next episode. And the fighting is going to resume. I'm not sure if they'll be able to 
you feel Vlad by the end of it or not or will he run away or escape either of that can happen but yeah let's see like he's obviously going to lose that's quite sure because there are five shamans here and all of them are pretty damn strong however strong Vlad is I doubt he'll be able to take uh, all of them so yeah let's see what happens in the next episode so yeah guys thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to shaman king episode number 16 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of shaman king so until then goodbye and have a nice day